it is time for our eBay break of the day. We have 2017-18 Donner's Optic Basketball 5 box break number 56. Alrighty. Let's do it. Here we go. So yeah, Jimbo, it's Friday for you. Uh, you got any plans for the weekend? Anybody else out there watching, what's up? Don't be shy. Come through the chat. Say hi. Especially if you're in this break and you want some good luck. I can't tell you how many times uh, people have come by, said hi in the chat, requested a hit, and I actually hit it for them. It happens uh, quite regularly, actually. The wife wants to get out the house. Listen, man, happy wife, happy life. What up, kids play? I, 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 uh, I found something that rhymes with spouse. Happy spouse. Happy house. Uh oh. Because why should the wife get all the credit, man? You know, got to show some love to the spouse. How you doing, Michael? Watching a little baseball or what? It is opening day. Alrighty. Here we go. So we go. Good luck, everyone. E12 more Pelicans to 193. Trying to stay organized here. The Heat play tonight. Gonna, that's a big game. We are out of the playoffs right now. We lost to the Magic uh, the other night. And that took us out of the playoffs. Marquise Chris to 155 Suns. We have eight games left to play in the season. And they are all must win. Definitely want to see my boy D. Wade play in the playoffs. Even if that means running into the buzzsaw that will be the Bucks. I just want to see D. D Wade keep playing, man. Well, the Heat have eight more games. You know, other teams here and there have like nine or ten. It all depends on the schedule. But the uh, the Heat have eight more games to play, which is roughly two, two and a half weeks or so. We have Ryan... RC Diacono. That's the thing with this fast break stuff is you get these random ass autographs. Like, who the hell is this guy? No idea. But I know this dude, Kimba Walker. To 65 for the Hornets. Decent. There's good autos in this stuff, man. I've, I've hit the big rookies. They are just uh, very tough. More often than not, we're going to see random autos like that Bulls dude. People that get no playing time. But then again, you know, could hit a Kuzma or a Donovan Mitchell. It's, it's happened before. De'Aaron Fox. A lot of good rookies in the 17-18 draft class. They are just difficult to hit in fast breaks. Uh, Steve, my man, you know it's impossible to hit a LeBron autograph in this stuff, right? I don't know if you're joking or not, but LeBron only signs upper deck products, and this is Panini.
But thank you for watching, my dude. Hope you got a uh, good weather out there in Cleveland because it's looking pretty crappy over here in Miami. Definitely not beach weather. <clears throat> yeah, Steve. There's certain athletes that only sign. Like, for example, uh, LeBron is one of them. Ben Simmons also only signs upper deck. It's like you say, you learn something new every day. Oh, you're a Cleveland guy in Virginia. The gotcha. Well, same deal. I hope your weather's a lot nicer than mine, man. Over here is looking hella cloudy. It's been raining all day. All right. Let's see what we got here. By the way, Steve, uh, I know you're just watching, but uh, new customers on our website, ripcitycars.com, save $15 on their first purchase. If you're interested, we got some nice stuff in the store. So if you want to check that out, possibly save 15 bucks on your first purchase. Check out our site, man, ripcitycards.com. This is the only eBay break we have for today. So after I'm done with this, uh, I will be trying to fill breaks that we have on our site. Kawhi Leonard for the Spurs, that's to 193. Nice, Steve. There you go. That's how that's how I got you to come back. I do have the uh, skills to pay the bills, as they say. Man, speaking of the Browns, man, they're they're gonna be nasty next season, or at least they should be on paper. They should be winning the division, finally getting back into the playoffs. But you know how football is. But the Browns definitely look like they're poised to cause damage. Man, see what I mean by random autos? Sam Bowie for the Trailblazers. Yeah, this guy infamously was the dude picked over uh, Michael Jordan, if I'm not mistaken. In the, what was it, the 86-85 draft? I think you guys are just missing a coach, man. As far as the Browns. Harry Giles, Kings to 155. I forget who they signed as their coach. If they even have a coach right now. Justin Jackson, Kings to 20. Last I checked, they had that Greg Williams guy who was their defensive coordinator, I think. They need a coach. They need a great coach out there. With all that talent, bring it together. I have no idea who that is. And that's a problem. As far as the coach is concerned. I like Greg Williams. I felt like they, they probably should have held on to him. Uh, as their head coach. That guy is fiery. He seems like a no-nonsense kind of guy too. Which is kind of like what... Which, which is what the Browns need. They got a lot of hotheads on that team, especially on offense. Jarvis Landry is a huge hothead. I love that guy, though. I, I wish that he was still a Dolphin. But now he's paired up with his college buddy, Odell, who's a fucking drama queen. And although Baker behaved himself for the most part his rookie season, he also has a history of, uh, of, of antics and outbursts. And that's just the offense right there. But they are hella talented, man. I, it's going to be nice to see them on the field and see what they do. I mean, for some reason, I thought Greg Williams was the, the interim coach last year. Dude, if that's the case, Jimbo, you should watch a Dolphin game sometime, man. The Dolphins are great at losing football games. It's kind of what we do.
No, we shall see, Steve. We shall see. You're saying all the right things right now. I mean, that's going to be a disgusting combo. You throw anything to Jarvis, he's going to catch it. Only problem with him is he doesn't have the jets. He, he doesn't have that breakaway speed. Trust me, I know. I'm a huge Dolphin fan, and he was drafted by the Dolphins. And, dude, in my opinion, Jarvis Landry is, like, the best possession receiver in the NFL. I feel like if you need, if you need like, yak, yards after the catch, throw it to Jarvis because he... That kid, that kid's a beast. If he had like 4-4, speed, he'd probably be the best receiver in the NFL. Like, he is that talented. But now you add Odell to that? Oh, my God. On paper, that offense should be nasty. Josh Jackson of the Suns to 155. I'm, I'm more so interested in Nick Chubb and see what he's going to look like. Because he's going to be a, he should be a big part of that offense. Keep the keep the running game going. To keep the defense honest. And then boom! Smack him in the face with an Odell bomb. We got Cody Zeller, Hornets autograph. Oh yeah, Landry in the slot all day, and he's gonna cause havoc. Courtney Lee Nicks to 193. Another dude I'm looking at is David and Joku. Super talented out of the University of Miami. The U! I forget. They also have Kareem Hunt, but he, Kareem Hunt suspended for like the first four or five games or something like that. Duke Johnson, another former Miami Hurricane. The U! I think they also, I think the, think, I think you guys have Chad Thomas on the D-line as well. Another former Hurricane! I mean, you can't go wrong drafting a Hurricane. That, you know, all we do is produce athletes. However, David Njoku has been a bit of a letdown. But, he got a quarterback now. So he should be beasting. Dude, that, that, on paper, that team is nasty. Each one more Pelicans to 155. I'll be honest though, I don't think they're going to win the division their first season, like this season upcoming. But, I do think they'll make the playoffs. As a wild card. As the sixth seed. But I don't think they'll win the division. They st I feel like they still got to go through some learning. Growing pains, actually, if you will. Whoa, Kellen Winslow Jr. is a motherfucking warrior. I will not have any besmirchment of, of Kellen Winslow Jr. Super talented tight end. Could have been... Probably could have been, you know, one of the best to do it, but that kid had his issues. He, he definitely had his issues. David and Joku should be should be a beast at tight end though. In college, he was man a beast, a man amongst boys. Basically a receiver in a tight end's body. Uh, MC, no marking in one of one yet. Uh, Matt, so far, biggest hit would probably be that Cody Zeller for the Hornets. <laughs> Hopefully we hit uh, maybe the marking in one of one here right now. Or something just as nice. Very, very tough to get a hit of fast break. But I'm sure you guys already know that. Speaking of the Bulls, man, they got so much talent out there. But yet they have like one of the worst records. Zach Levine, though, has been... Balling out of control. Bulls should be nice, man. They got a lot of good talent. Chris Dunn. Marking in. You just got to put it together. Porzingis, Knicks to 155. They need a coach. That's, that's really what it boils down to, I think. I think they need a good head coach. I think they should go for Mark Jackson. 
I don't know who the Bulls head coach is right now, but clearly he's not doing his job because they have so much talent out there. Marga Soul, Grizzlies 193. I, exactly. They're kind of like the Browns, except on paper the Browns right now are ridiculous. But they, the Bulls are no scrubs, man. They, they're, they're young, scrappy, got a lot of talent out there. Wendell Carter Jr. is a, a really good rookie. But uh, not a lot of people talking about him because the Bulls, the Bulls suck, to be honest. However, I think they're going to be really good in a in a few in a maybe like two or three years they'll be really good. They just need a. I think they need a new coach. Autograph coming up for Daniel Theus of the Celtics. It's just random autographs and fast breaks sometimes. Very hard to get a hit. DeLon Wright for the Raptors. That's to 85. Interesting to see what the Raptors are going to do in the playoffs. They are a notoriously uh, good team in the regular season and then just crash and burn in the playoffs. Lakers have been a shit show. <laughs> Although I did predict at the beginning, before the season even started, I predicted the Lakers would not make the playoffs. And everybody thought I was crazy. Everybody called me a hater. Blah, 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 blah. But, dude, I know my basketball. And that team was doomed from the very beginning. I hear you, Steve, but dude, the Browns are definitely sleepers. I'm sorry. They haven't made the playoffs since God knows when. I mean, they um, again, on paper, they have a really good team, but until you do something, you've done nothing. You know what I'm saying? What have you done for me lately? And they're a very scrappy team. I mean, listen, I, I again, I love football. I know my fool's ball. And the Browns are a competitive team, like year in, year out. They are competitive. It's not like they're getting blown out every Sunday. However, they do find ways to lose football games in fantastic fashion. So until the Browns can stop being the Browns of old, <clears throat> they will always be the Browns. You know, first things first, let's make the playoffs. You know, all that winning the division talk is fine and dandy in the offseason. But let's be realistic. Let's let's try to make the playoffs first. How how about how, how about we try to win more than you know more than eight games in a season? I do think the Browns are gonna be nasty next season. It's just that's a tough division, man. Playing the Steelers. The Ravens, who have one of the best defenses in the league, although they did lose Mosley, but I wouldn't count the Ravens out, man. Ravens historically have good defenses. Steelers, the last few seasons, have been an abomination on defense, so I don't know what's going on there. And the Bengals are the Bungles. I don't think anybody's paying attention to the Bengals. Man, I'm ready for some football. Because I want to see how my Dolphins are going to stink it up this year. Alright, what do we have? Ah, here's the autograph. See what I mean? Random autos. Aaron McKee. For the Sixers. That was one of the most garbage teams to ever make it to the finals. That 2001 Sixers team. Lonzo Ball, Lakers, 193. Very true, Steve. Very, very true. And the, and the, this upcoming season, on you know, barring catastrophic injuries, they they don't have an excuse. Like they have the talent. Like that excuse is is out the window. Like they're loaded all over. Like they got a solid O line, a really good defensive line. 
they got some really good DBs back there. Maybe their linebackers are kind of iffy, but their DBs are nasty. Denzel Ward is a fucking stud. All right, that kid's a beast. On offense, they're loaded all over the place. Like, receivers, good to go. Running back might be an issue uh, up until Kareem Hunt comes back or, you know, off, off of his suspension. And everyone knows how I feel about Baker Mayfield. I really wanted the Dolphins to trade up and get him in the draft last year. We did it, and that kid's been lights out. Everybody was co comparing him to Johnny Manziel. Clearly, they don't know football. Johnny Manziel and Baker Mayfield, two completely different people, completely different play styles. I mean, I understand where the comparison was coming from, but, man, I, I really like Mayfield. I, I think that kid is going to be just a beast. And now with that receiving core that he has, no excuses. No excuses. I think it's going to come down to the coaching, really. Reggie Jackson, Pistons to 85. You know what the main difference is between Manziel and, and Mayfield? Manziel comes from money. Manziel, his family, is fucking loaded. Like, the kid's been, he's had a silver spoon in his mouth since he was born. And that's not like a, that's not a bad thing. Shit, I wish I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth, too. I wish I had, you know, college paid for, you know, by mommy and daddy and all that good stuff. So, for me, that's the main difference, is how they came up. Everything was handed to Manziel on a silver platter. Mayfield had to work for everything. Mayfield had to fuck, Mayfield walked on... And took the starting job at Oklahoma. Like, dude, like, people, like, I don't understand where those comparisons, like, I, I get it. Like, on the field, you know, I, I kind of, I, 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 I get it. But as far as people are concerned, completely different. So that, that, that comparison, like, really annoyed me. Because Mayfield, that kid came from the bottom. Like, he really, he like, he built himself up. That's what I love about Mayfield. Not only that, but he talks shit and he backs it up. You gotta love a dude like that. That's a, that's a, that's the kind of guy I want at quarterback. You know what I mean? Not fucking Ryan Tannehill. Anyway, uh, Dwayne Wade for the Cavs to one fifty five. It really pains me to see that card. I wish they would just burn all, 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 all evidence of Dwayne Wade in a Bulls Cavs uniform. I have. I think the draft is coming up in April, uh, Jimbo. I, I just don't know the exact date. Tannehill fucking sucks, bro. And I hate when people try to convince me otherwise. Like, dude, you're not a Dolphin fan. Like, uh, unless you watch every single snap of the Dolphins, you know, preseason, regular season, all that. It, don't don't tell me about my quarterback. I know how much he sucks. Don't tell me, oh, he's he's solid. I don't think we're tanking, Steve. Uh, I think we're we're gonna try to be competitive this upcoming season. Uh, but given how much we've gutted the roster, we're gonna suck next season. We'll be competitive because that's just how we do in Miami. We're 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 competitive, scrappy football team. Uh, but I, I don't see us winning more than like five games next year, to be honest. Anyways, these are the autos. We got Aaron McKee Sixers. I heard we're trying to uh, we're, we're looking at Jake Locke, the quarterback uh, out of Mizzou. I don't know about that. Rosen fucking sucks. Like I'm sorry. Like like how? Oh my god! If the Dolphins go for Rosen, what a shit show. Why would you go after a failed first round pick? Like clearly he's a failed first round pick. If the Cardinals, it, it, this hasn't happened yet, but if the Cardinals draft Kyler Murray or Dwayne Haskins, that's like a huge slap in the face for Rosen. Like, like, come on. I know, Steve. I'm just, I'm just saying. You, I know you're trying to be funny, but you know the beautiful, the, the only way things are funny is if it's true, and that's true. The Dolphins would do some stupid shit like that, but I digress. Daniel Theus, Celtics. Cody Zeller Hornets, 
Sam Bowie for the Blazers. And last but not least, Ryan R.C. Diacono. Bulls getting hit right there, but not the marketing. But at least a little something. And that's going to be the break. Thank you, eBay peeps.